Hey guys, I have another new ColourPop palette to swatch for you today. This is the Cabana Club palette, and this was actually on the Ulta site before it even popped up on ColourPop site. Um, I had seen someone post about it on Instagram, and I'm like, where is that? Because I didn't see it come up yet, and it was on Ulta's website, and then I believe it just showed up on ColourPop site yesterday, so I picked it up, and... I also grabbed a, let me see if I can get it out of here, one of their blush sticks from the, this collection, but it's for my grandma because her birthday is coming up, so I just wanted to show you. I got the shade Shell Out, and I've never used one of these. Cream blushes don't really work for me because I have pretty oily skin, and especially in the summertime it just kind of wants to sweat off. And I just ripped the bottom of the box. It's okay, she knows I make these videos, so I'll be like, I was just showing them. It has really pretty packaging. It's got little, what are those, hibiscus flowers on them? And then this is what the color looks like. I'm not going to swatch it, obviously, because it's a gift, but it's a really pretty, like, coral blush. So that's what that one looks like. I think they had two or three, uh, two or three colors of these. But she has really dry skin, and she loves, like, the moisturizing cream blush type product, so that's what I grabbed. Anyway, let's just get into swatching here. I'm going to grab my wipes so that I have them. And as always, I like to say which ones have the little asterisk next to them, and the only one in this palette that has it is this really deep blue at the bottom. So I am surprised that this uh, came intact. A lot of the times lately when I order stuff from Ulta, they just literally throw it in a bag or a box with no bubble wrap or anything. I can't believe that this arrived not broken. <laughs> like, there is little pieces of blue over here, but cannot believe that it came not with no eyeshadows cracked or anything. So, let me zoom in a little bit. I don't want to do it too much because then it tends to want to not focus when I'm showing you the swatches. But the first color is called High Season. This is like a golden champagne metallic shade. Kind of boring. They do this color a lot. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting so repetitive lately with these swatches because they have so many of the same colors. Um, Rattan is a matte tan. I like a camel color. Suede. That one's nice and smooth. I do have a blue stain here from swatching something earlier, so ignore that. Um, bikini. This is a pretty matte blush pink. That one's like super pigmented. And then we have Cool Off, which is a kind of chunky aqua color. Not super chunky, but it's got that chunk texture to it. It pretty much matches that blue on that side of my nail. <laughs> so that is the first row. Very beachy. Giving me beach vibes. Okay. Then the second row we have Go Bananas, which is this nice golden yellow matte color. Looks like it's going to be nice and pigmented. Let's try. Yep, that's a really nice yellow. They've been doing a lot of yellows lately. Um, Copa Cutie. That is a metallic kind of rose coral color. Yeah, it's more coral and it has a strong gold flash to it when it hits the light. That one's pretty. And then we have Limelight, which is a pale gold another metallic shade. And the last shade in this row is Bahama Mama. This is a metallic orange. Oop. So that is the middle row. And then this last row is all mattes. This is this palette is mostly mattes. I mean, 
You have seven mattes and what, five shimmers and metal. Oh no, wait. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Five metallics and the rest are mattes. Anyway, uh, Take It Easy is this matte orangey brown. And then we have Throw Shade, which is a dark, dark brown. Whoa, that was a messy swatch. Super pigmented, though. Um, Cha 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 is this matte fuchsia color. That's pretty. And it actually swatches pretty well. I was expecting it to be patchy, because usually these kinds of colors are. It, I mean, it is a little bit, but I have no base or anything on my hand, so that will definitely be able to be built up. And then Pool Party is this nice, deep blue. Ooh, that's pretty. But I can tell this is probably going to stain, <laughs> which is probably why that's the only one with the asterisk next to it in this palette. But that is the bottom row, which is mostly dark colors there. So that is the, what is this called again? The Cabana Club palette. Super pretty and summery. This was kind of, this was a surprise one to me because I didn't, I hadn't seen anything announcing this. I usually find out about them before they come out, but this one was just popped up on Ulta and then a few days later it popped up on the Colourpop site once I already had this one because I had just got it in the mail. But um, yeah, I hope these swatches were helpful for you guys and I'll talk to you next time.